Hey. Today we're going to be watching a horror movie, and that horror movie is Ma. Ma came out in 2019 and features actors like Octavia Spencer and Diana Silvers. Octavia Spencer is in many. She's like in every single movie ever. I love her. And Diana Silvers is in Booksmart, where she was lesbian queen. I've seen so many people talk about this movie, and I have never seen it, and I've never really been spoiled to really what happens other than anything that would be shown in the trailer. So I wanted to sit down and watch it because everyone's been talking about it. Like they were talking about it when it came out too. And I think it's become kind of like a gag movie. You guys know I'm the girl who's scared of everything. So today the girl who's scared of everything is going to be watching Ma. Hi, my name's Trin. You probably think I live an ordinary life, but there's so much more to it. Meet my friends, Dave, Ben, and Carol. We like to hang out and go to the coffee shop, but things kind of get wild from here to here. Why did I just create a story? Hi, my name's Trin, and you're probably wondering how I ended up here. Me and my mom are moving to a new state for her job. I had to leave all my friends back in North Carolina, but now we're moving to the big state of Utah. And boy, is it tough. Look at us carry this big old carpet in. Oh, it's the girl meets world, dude. Super, Super day. Day. I love pussy. Super day. Babe, tell him. Tell him I love pussy. So the tell him, tell him I love pussy is what they say. You gotta love teenagers in horror movies that are just absurdly graphic for no reason. No, he's super gay. No, tell him I love pussy. Tell him right now. You fucking bitch. I know where that is. Shoot. We used to hang out there all the time when I was a kid. She's like, can I come low key? Like, I don't have that many friends. Like, she just wants to be a part of the gang and she's a little bit of an introvert. She hasn't gone out in a while in the middle of a pandemic. We get it. I understand. Seems pretty secluded. Yeah, sadly, this is pretty much the best drinking spot in town. I have to say I love associating horrible teenage acts like drinking, smoking, cursing, and all that kind of stuff with horror movies because like, all this bad shit happens to them so then it just creates this idea in teenagers minds that bad behavior is associated with being murdered or being haunted and i say go forward with the agenda i know what you're doing in horror movies don't be slick it's always like the couple that's going away and trying to have sex in the woods gets murdered um excuse me what was that what was that? I just got a phone call from somebody telling me that there were some teenagers drinking out at the rock piles. That's why you don't drive a business vehicle when you're committing crimes. I, I just, it's a very simple conclusion. It's a very simple, it's so simple to understand that. Uh, 18 pack of Bud Light and they had the fireball this time. Why did they go to her again? Who do they think called the cops on them? How would they not know that? How would they not know that? They are the, okay, maybe they do deserve to get harassed by Ma, because what the fuck? Why would you go to this lady again? I'm sorry, if your only hookup to alcohol is Ma, then you, this, is, this has gotta be one of the worst plot lines ever, that they needed alcohol so bad that they went to Ma more than once. Be a normal teenager and, like, I don't know, get a fake ID. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Or find someone that's, like, freshly 21. Like, there's a bunch- go to a college and find someone. Like, why are they going to, like, this gas station where it's just old people going? My only house rules are don't take the Lord's name in vain. And don't spit on my floors, please. Why, are, why is that her only two words? Not saying God and then- no spitting on the floors. How many times has someone spit on your floors to make that a rule? Excuse me? Go ahead and uh, make yourselves at home. Gosh, this is so sick. This is not sick. It's just not sick. Like, they are too old to be acting like this. Oh, she has 82 followers, queen. Pretty cool, huh? Um, what was that? As soon as someone says, get naked boy, we're out. We're not coming back to this lady and they better not go back to her again. Oh my God, that's a butt. I don't, what was that? Ew. Oh, she's insane. 
Oh no. You are under arrest for being so dang cute. Stop. <laughs> put that thing away. <laughs> That is I'll not funny. No, that's not funny at all. That's not funny at all. She is insane. We cool? <laughs> we'll see. How was he so okay with being violated like that? He's just not the cool boy that I was anticipating from this movie. I'm sorry. He was Farkle. Farkle. Oh, he's Farkle. Farkle from Girl Makes World, not Furkle. Oh my God, why is this the goofiest shot I've seen? Oh my God, why does that look so insane? That's the most insane shot I've ever seen in my entire life. Why wait for the weekend? It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, great. oh. Oh, get in, get in. I hate that. <laughs> no, she's, this is actually the most insane movie I've ever seen. She's like giggling. This is way better. Maggie! She just wants to become a hostess? What does she want? What is the end goal of this movie? For her to become a hostess? I don't get it. Hosting parties for underage kids? It just seems... That's so upsetting. Girl, just open up a restaurant. If you want to be a hostess, just open up a restaurant. I had no idea what to tell you. This might be the scariest thing I've ever seen. I... This is freaking me out. Oh my god, she's in love with him. Thanks. <laughs> I like yours. Oh, so this is a Carrie moment. It's a Carrie moment. We're on her side. <laughs> if it's a Carrie moment, that means we're on her side. Exactly. I love that. You got a sweet mama, huh? Not as sweet as you, ma. <laughs> Not as sweet as you. We are the sweetest mom around. Don't get it twisted. I love ma. I don't want to be on her hit list next. No, we can't go up there. Shh. We'll ask nicely. I can't imagine pitching the going out festivities to a friend and being like, hey, want to go get fucked up at some old lady's basement? And then being like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so honestly, whatever these kids get, it's their fault. I hope they perish. Well, she'll notice when she just sees pee in her toilet. Oh, oh shit! Christ. What the fuck are y'all doing, huh? Why did she literally grab them like that? Um, do you want to go out with me? Remember in Girl Meets World on New Year's Eve where like, like Maya and Luke are together and then um, Farkle goes, Riley's still in love with Lucas. And he just like calls her out in the middle of New Year's party. And she's like, happy new year. Like that was the best scene I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh. He just exposed her. He was like, this party is boring. I'm here to stir up some drama because there's nothing happening. Honestly, he should. Good for him. Good for him, Farkle. I wish he would do something like in I wish he would do something like that in this movie. Hi. Oh, what, what are you doing here? Um, you're an adult on school premises. You should not be here. Girl, you need a man. Girl, you need to watch your mouth. She literally just walked into school premises and was like, come party with me. She's insane. But she's helping out all these other kids. So why doesn't she just want to hang out with them? Hey, Ma. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh-oh, you literally just triggered her to the max. I cannot find anything in me to feel sorry for her because, oh my God, are you the creepiest woman ever for supplying underage kids with alcohol and partying with them it's one thing to supply it for them it's another thing to fully hang out with them how why'd you say that um what a wonderful joker moment she just had pow it's my birthday! how cool are you having it at an old lady's house <laughs> you are the coolest dude <laughs> oh i love the walk he just did while he walked into he went You don't want to mess your life up with the baby. Jesus, you sound like my mother. Oh, he, she hated that. Everyone has been calling her ma this entire time, but then as soon as she said mother, she was like, fuck you. Oh my goodness, why are they kissing like that? Oh goodness.
why did she just get up for the safety dance? Like, she was like, oh my god, I remember this. I remember when Artie sang the song Glee. I remember when Artie sang the song Glee. I have to get up, guys. I have to get up. In honor of Artie, may he rest in peace. Let's go. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Because if they don't dance and if they don't, then they're no friends of mine. I feel awkward watching this. Have a seat, Andy. My mom passed away. Okay, that was a jump. <laughs> that was the biggest jump I've ever seen in my life. Oh, have a seat, Andy. My mom passed away five years ago. Everybody block Ma for good. I'm serious, that bitch is crazy. <laughs> my grandmother is very sweet. How, if you blocked her, how is she seeing this? She's a secret account. Don't make me drink alone. Don't, Don't make, make me drink, drink alone. alone. Don't make me drink alone. alone. Are you guys oh. mad at me for something? I mean, I, uh, risk my job. She's literally insane. Look, I really need you to meet me. She's going on live and doing this stuff. It's an emergency. She's pulling out all the th all the things to get someone to come over. And they actually went? Are you kidding me? They actually went. You guys are stupid. What's wrong? It's cancer. And the Academy Award goes to Ma. You want to come over on Saturday? No pressure. Guys, I have pancreatic cancer. But if you want to come and party on Saturday, don't be shy to hit a bitch up. These teenagers are so stupid. I hope the worst happens to them because they are making such bad critical thinking choices. No thoughts, no brain, no neurons are being used in this moment. Cool. Thanks, That's all she has to say to that? Cool it with the pics. I'd be like, what the fuck I'm getting out of here right now? Sure. Oh, I just realized that he was a kid from her high school that she, that probably pranked her and traumatized her for life. So she's gonna get with his son to get back at him. That's upsetting that that's a plot line. You might want to- um, Oh my god. Take ah! Oh my god! <sighs> what are you guys doing in here? Um, what was that? <laughs> what are you doing here? I live here. This is my house. You- She's had a daughter this entire time and she's been doing this? I get sick a lot and my mom thought it would be better if I stay home for a while. She has been neglecting- Ma has been neglecting her own daughter this entire time. Excuse me? The entire experience. I heard she passed away. You guys have lived in the same town all this time and you never run into each other? I find that very hard to believe. And I find that to be a very obvious plot hole. Trucks and vans, including my son Andrew's van. Oh my god! I won't be calling the police. I'll handle it myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make her drink alone. You make her drink alone. You make her drink alone. Boom. Watch out, Sue Ann. And pasted herself in pictures with your dad and my mom and Mercedes. Who cares? It's so creepy. Man, all that medicine makes you do some weird stuff. That's just not true. <laughs> they should look up one thing about pancreatic cancer. Just one. Watch one episode of Grey's Anatomy. I think she's like in love with you now. Well, duh. What if he was just like, oh, you're jealous? So this is what it's about? You're jealous of Ma that she's into all this hotness? Girl. What if she literally just killed the dog? She's gonna kill all the dogs. Was I good? Who was in the room with yeah. all of them? Oh, was she like sucking on like a hot dog or something? And they're like pranking her? Surprise. <laughs> okay, so like, who was it? So, how was she? Was she good? It was fucking awesome. <laughs> um, that's like sexual assault. Like, she just did not consent to giving head to that nerd. <laughs> she consented to blowing you, hottie, not the nerd. That's literally assault. Um, uh, excuse me. Do you remember? Uh, <laughs> what was that? 
<laughs> who orchestrated that scene? Who did that? Give me their numbers now. What? Um, excuse me? She kind of liked that, though. She kind of liked that she got a sort of hug from him. To be honest, what he did to her was very rude. Like, it was, like, very rude of him. Like, maybe he should have some repercussions for that. Not maybe. He should. Because she was literally sexually assaulted from him. What do we have? I literally... Is this what you were going to show me in that closet? <laughs> oh my... <laughs> the fact that I just saw a fake penis. You, you're no man. You treated me like a dog, so I'm gonna make you become a dog. This is some human centipede type shit. Like, you're gonna become dogs. I was just a kid. So was I, motherfucker. No. Oh my god! No, no, no. It was kind of a girl boss moment that she said, so was I, motherfucker. Um, it was kind of a girl boss moment, but the fact that she just slit his wrist right afterwards really frightened me and made me tense up. It, ah, that really hurt me. I feel very upset. Just the visual of that just made me sick. Sick and twisted, honestly. But it was a girl boss moment when she said, so was I, motherfucker. Oh, oh, I, I love that she just said that. She went. And also, fuck her boyfriend. <laughs> fuck Andy for going. When she was like, I don't want you going there. And he was like, it's Ma's house. I gotta go, guys. I'm so sorry. Let's fucking hit it. Oh, no. They're all fucked up on the roofied punch. Oh, my God. Yo, you better start preparing. Get in that bathroom. Get something sharp. And get to it. Get into it, girl. I've already made a plan for you. I would not go seek out what the hell she's doing. Go in the bathroom. Grab something sharp. Grab a weapon. Hide in the bathroom. Wait till she comes. You'll hear her steps. It's right there. Bam! Right when she comes into the door. I'm so sorry. Everyone is stupid. She literally said, I'm leaving all you guys. <laughs> Fuck that. I can feel those big doe eyes watching me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. For what? Be nice, most handsome. What? The <gasps> Why is she doing that? So this is the horror that we're seeing. It's pretty graphic. Not what I was expecting from Ma. They've only got room for one of us. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what was that? She's painting his face white because there's only room for one of them? What? Excuse me? What? What? I like how that's like a spooky, scary scene. Her painting his face white. She didn't do anything else to him except paint his face white. What is he gonna get? Like, inhale too many fumes? I can't believe that actually happened. She ironed one guy's stomach. She sewed the girl's mouth shut. And she just painted his face white. I love you. Um, what was that? <laughs> what was that? I guess he took one for the team, but wow. Ah! Stop! He took one for the team and he Please. still died? Yo, you got a kiss from the underage boy. Um, one's stabbed, one's ironed, one's sewn shut, and one has his face painted white, which just doesn't seem like a torture method to me. Um, this is the most insane movie I've ever seen. This is creepier than Midsummer. I'm sorry. Shouldn't have made her drink alone. Oh shit! Girl, you are so tall, kick her ass. Okay, there is literally so many of you. There's like five plus. Fuck, fucking watch her ass. Fucking watch her ass and beat her the fuck up. Stop it, okay? You should have stopped it. What did that? Sacrifice yourself then, Erica. If you should have stopped it, then sacrifice yourself. I'm not weak. I'm not my mother. <laughs> yeah, fuck my mom. Yeah, I'm not weak like my mom. Fuck that bitch. The way that they did not need to stab her. Like, 
she just didn't need to stab her. Like, that was just irrelevant. There were so many people that could have stopped Ma from taking... She literally just went like this. And she grabbed her. She didn't have any weapons. She didn't have any weapons to make them stop from taking her down. Shoot you motherfuckers down. <gasps> Ma sequel? Um, where's the blood on his shirt? There's no blood on his shirt. Where'd it go? He just got- he's got stabbed and there's no blood. Is she finally gonna blow him? Not even- she didn't even want to spend the time with her own daughter. She wants to die in a burning building with Ben, the person who sexually assaulted her. This movie's insane. No, like, it's actually insane. Excuse me? Tate Taylor? You are a menace to society. You are a menace to society. Scotty Land? Scotty Landis, you are evil. <laughs> you guys are literally a menace to society. That was so bad. <laughs> this might be my new favorite horror movie. That was amazing. Um, I cannot believe that some of those scenes actually exist now in the world. I have to say that horror movies breed some of the most creative and interesting scenes I've ever seen in my entire life and this did it for me. It did it for me. The best parts for me were don't make me drink alone, don't make me drink alone, when she said so was I motherfucker, when she painted the kid's face white because everyone else got such a hard torture method and <laughs> he walks out, he like is conscious and he's like oh you got you, you got your mouth sewn shut and you got ironed and, and, and you got stabbed. I, I'm like feeling okay. Like anything wrong with me? And they're like, dude, your face is painted white. <laughs> like, where were we going with that line? Where were we going with that? They, did she just, she didn't have enough hatred for him that she just decided to do that? Like, what was that? What was that? Um, I can't wait to recommend it to all my friends. I really want to watch this with as many people as I can. I will watch this again and again to watch it with as many people as possible because I think it needs to be shared with everyone. So if anyone would like to watch it with me, hit me up and we can watch it together. Um, yeah, I love that. Thank you guys for watching Ma with me. I hope you guys like this video. I freaking loved it. I'm so excited to get back into doing horror movie commentaries because they are some of my favorites to film, even though I get scared. This one was not scary. This one was actually really fun. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts on this video and this movie in the comment section down below. I know you guys are going to have a blast with this in the comment section. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Instagram at Tcall Level and Twitter at Level Trend. You guys can also subscribe so you don't miss out on videos and you guys can also turn on the notifications bell if you want to be notified every single time I post a video so you guys can be the first ones here. Thank you guys once again. I love you and I will see you guys next time. Bye!